Hello, calligraphy lovers. I'm a Chinese calligraphy teacher. I wish to take my knowledge and understanding of calligraphy, to take my love of it, and share it here with everyone. In our first lesson on scripts, we will focus on Jia Gu Wen, Arco Bang inscriptions. I will not tell you what this is. Can you tell what it is? Doesn't this look like a head? Two hands and a body? See it? This is the character we use today. For zi, meaning child. A child's head is really big. And the two little hands are reaching up. This is zi. Sometimes there may be three small things on the child's head. Like hair. This is also zi. The characters in Jia Gu Wen are not particularly fixed. There may be many ways to write a single character. For example, this child may or may not have hair on its head, or it may be leaning to the left or to the right. I will give another example. It also has various postures. Which one is this? This is Yue or Moon. You can write it this way or you can write it with a dot in the middle. It really looks like a moon. For example, I'll write I'll write this one This one actually looks a lot like what we see in this. I'll write it. This looks like a three-legged cauldron. If we do this, Look at it. It becomes the character that is Ding for cauldron. It could also be Zhen Ryu, Ding. Let's look at some animals now. This is the animal body from the side. These are the two legs. A fat belly. This is the character. Shi for pig. The pig belly is big and fat. This character can be written in many ways. This is a particular characteristic of Jia Gu Wen style writing. Let's write another couple of characters. For example, here's another animal. This is the head and these are the huge eyes. Sometimes it even has a big mouth. This is the spine and the tail.
the legs, body. Look at the body; it's a lot thinner than the pic we drew before. Legs. The most important feature of this animal is on its neck. These three hairs represent a full mane. This is a ma, meaning horse. This mane is the greatest trait of the horse. Let's draw another animal. This one has a mouth, slightly open. What kind of animal has an open mouth? Big eyes, big body, but not too big. Pay attention to the tail. Big eyes and open mouth. The tail is really short. This is two, meaning rabbit. Okay, that is the end of my simple introduction to Jia Gu Wen. Next, let's see what the result will be when we create a complete piece using Jia Gu Wen style characters. Okay, I have chosen this character. I will not tell you what it is now. You can try to take a guess. When I talk about the characters and am writing, I should talk about how to write the strokes, because the characters are carved on bones or shells. We need to try to achieve a look that feels like carving. They also have the hidden and reverse peaks in the strokes. Take a look. The strokes are powerful. No need to have a return stroke here. Just directly pull the stroke to the end. With this stroke, look here. First go left, then go to the right. Hung. A return stroke. The roll brush edge is not a problem. Not every return stroke should have a roll edge. There should be some variation. This character has some transition strokes. The power in the carving-like strokes should stand out. Here I want to say, follow to the end here. Do a return stroke, and you got it. Now that we see this character, can you tell what it is? Looking at it now, this is the pig we looked at before. Well, this pig is under a house. This is the character Jia, meaning house. In the primitive ancient society, during the slavery stage. We can say that people generally lived in a house above, while a fenced enclosure below was used for raising pigs. So this depicts a house, not a pigsty, but a house. Okay, this is a single character. After writing a character, we used to write the inscription. We can place the seal here. I will write. A Chung Kuan with my name in this spot here. The text in the inscription should be smaller than the main text, and should be written in the Xin Shu style. Let's ink the stamp.
place the book under the paper. The seal would be a little too high if we placed it here. This is not too good either. You must find a good place. This is a good position. Just the stamp is fine. Let's use this red character seal. And then let's use this white character seal. That's pretty. Let's write the word ma, chua, meaning cart. We have already talked about how to write ma, the horse. Big eyes. And this is the back side. These transitions should be clear. Return stroke, pause. This is the belly. For this stroke, we can do it like this. This is how we do the legs. You definitely cannot forget to add the mane. This is the distinguishing feature. Chuo meaning vehicle. Look at how pictographic it is. It's viewed from above. These are the axles. This is where the horse is harnessed. This is the cabin. These are the wheels. The strokes are slightly hollow, which is natural. Because there is not enough ink we get some hollow strokes. Lastly, I will inscribe my name. We can stamp it. Right here. I can stamp it right here or here. Since there is a lot of space, we can do two. My last name? And my first name? Leave some space. Okay. At the beginning of the main text, we can place a stamp here. This works pretty well. Here we have an artwork, horse cart. It is done. This is a horizontal scroll. There are so many other styles and I hope you can explore them on your own. This is the end of today's lesson. See you next time. 
Newman. Before, when we discussed Jia Gu Wen, we learned this character Zi, meaning child. This is a big square head. You can see the strokes are round and full. We can write this stroke first, then continue with this one. Use the middle of the bristles to make the strokes round, and connect the strokes. This is a child's body. This is one hand and another hand. Looking at these characters, this style has a gentle beauty compared to Jia Gu Wen. Let's look at this character. It looks like it is one character. Actually, it is two. Xiao Yu. Xiao, meaning small. Look at this yu fish. It looks just like a fish. This is the head. This is the body. This is the fish tail. This part is the fin. This is the other fin. The fish tail is lovely. Add a little adornment. It looks like a single character, but it is actually two. Xiao Yu. Let's see another example to practice. None of them are clear. This one is a little clearer. This side is yet another zi. Meaning child. On this side, look. A person from the side. With both arms crossed. Standing in this position. Or kneeling. Some are like this. Curve it as you write. And some are written like this. This is the character Nu. Meaning woman. When you have a woman and a child, the ancients believed this is a really good thing. So this is the character Hao. If we write it in today's Kai Shu style, this is the Chinese character for good. If we are writing. In Da Zhuan style, we write it in reverse order. First, we write the Zi and then Nu. Let's do another one. We learned this one in the last lesson. Chu, meaning cart. Make sure to write four strokes. The Jia Gu Wen carved feeling should be decreased. Each stroke is in agreement. This chu gives expression to the back half. Here are the wheels, axles. The cabin is here. 
the part where the horse is tied is omitted, and this was an advancement as characters became more spare. Look at the Ma character we have already learned. It has gone through some changes. The main is still there regardless of what was cut out or left in. It is the greatest feature of this animal. The horse's legs and tail have not changed. Here it is the head and eyes that have been left out. That is all for our look at single characters. Next, I would like to make a complete piece together. Let's write Ping An meaning safe and sound. This is an eaves tile design and there's a horse. Let's use this special paper and write vertically. Pay attention to the tip of the brush. Some of the strokes should have a feel of tension rather than any kind of looseness. When you want to go right, first take the stroke left. Then the stroke follows. This is the master stroke of Ping. And notice the tip. Follow this route. We have also learned this one. This symbolizes a room. This is one of the components. Inside, there is a woman. With both arms crossed, kneeling down in a room, ping ping an an. The main text of this piece is complete. We can write a small inscription. Wu Zi means the 60th year of the Chinese cycle. This is another way of counting years. Chun is spring to mark the season and following is my name. Lastly, we need to place the seal. Let's just use one. This way. Two might look too heavy. Then, by the same token, we place a seal in this position at the front. When you ink 
break the seal, you have to press hard and lift softly in order to get all sides stained with ink. You have to press quite hard, then lift softly. Okay, the piece is complete. Our vertical banner is complete. Okay, friends. I hope you can all continue to practice writing Ping An. At the same time, I wish you all a safe and sound life. Thank you, everyone. Today, I'm going to introduce a Xiao Zhuan style work done by a famous calligrapher named Deng Shi Ru. Let's choose a few characters to talk about. Please pay attention while I'm writing and explaining the strokes. Take a look at this character. We have written it before. Ping from Ping An, meaning safe and sound. Do you still remember? This time the style will change slightly. The strokes are larger and straighter. Pay attention as you use the brush. We can see strokes made using the zhongfeng, middle of the brush tip. This zhongfeng refers to the tip of the brush stroke as it is hidden inside the stroke when the brush makes contact with the paper. Let's write that again. The tip of the brush is inside the stroke. If this is not clear, we can use this method to enlarge the stroke, to see the structure clearly. The tip of the brush follows along the middle line of the stroke. This is what we call a zhongfeng stroke. I will show you a feng stroke for comparison. What is this? The character can still be written the same, but the tip of the brush is aligned at the top of the stroke, parallel to the top line of the entire stroke. Do you see that? The tip is at the top. Although this is a hung stroke, it is called a feng. That is to say, from start to finish, this entire stroke is written using the side of the brush. We can see the remarkable results of these two strokes. The zhongfeng and the cefeng. Zhongfeng strokes have a very strong feeling. It almost seems round and has a very pronounced texture. The cefeng stroke looks very flat, like a plane. As we practice zhuan shu, we generally use zhongfeng strokes. The shu strokes are the same. Take a look. The tip of the brush is also inside the overall stroke. If we want to write a shu stroke using a cefeng style with the side of the brush, we can see it looks like a flat slice. There is no feeling of substance. Let's write ping, zhongfeng stroke. Dian. The dian stroke has motion as well. Do not just dab the brush, lift the brush. Return stroke. We can return a bit at the end. This character turns out to look strong and full. Now let's continue writing. Feng meaning wind. Look, this curve is quite round. Do 
not make it too sharp like this. Turn one corner at a time like this. This is too sharp. There are almost no sharp turns or changes. Usually the strokes are hung shu. Circles and semicircles. There are rarely sharp direction changes. Only after the emergence of Li Shu did sharp turning strokes appear. Make this turn naturally. As you are making the curves, notice the Zhongfeng strokes. Some people rush the turns. They become the Cefeng strokes. You can go slowly in order to allow the stroke to maintain the Zhongfeng quality from start to finish. Don't do it like this. You can see it becomes like a flat slice. This is the way to write it. Done. We still have some time to make a complete presentable piece. Let's first write long meaning dragon. I choose this red eaves tile design paper. Place the paper squarely on the table. If you want to place the paper this way, it will not look good. The design is this direction, so we should write this way. When you are practicing, pay attention to more than just the words. You also have to notice the details. Please pay attention to these Zhongfeng strokes. to write quickly. Try to make the character graceful. And the strokes precise. If you cannot quite master the curves here, Take it slowly. From the start, make sure the tip of the brush is in the center of the overall stroke. I notice some students just curve, curve, curve. It seems like a lot of effort. Just break it off and continue to write. Notice these strokes. They are rather similar. Notice this has some variation and at the same time continue to pay attention to the distance between the characters, etc. Do not write two characters close together and one too far away. This way you can feel the intervals between each character are evenly spaced. This looks lovely. Okay, that is long the dragon. I will show you the feng we just wrote.
sisters write this rather easy. Hung stroke. If you write this outside stroke first, there is not enough space left to write the middle hung, so I suggest you write the inside hung stroke first. Then continue with the next stroke that surrounds it. Pay attention to the curves. Watch as I use the brush. Okay, that character is complete. Lastly, I want to write Fu, meaning happiness. During the new year, especially the spring festival, every family will have couplets and hang a Fu character. If you can do calligraphy, everyone will be asking for you. No need to be stingy with the pen and ink. You can write the full character for everyone. There are many ways to write fu. Sometimes we see bai fu meaning a hundred happiness or bai shou meaning longevity. There can be some variation in the strokes. Sometimes more, sometimes less, but basically it will be the same. This bottom portion can be circular like this or it can be more square. This looks like a fork. Actually, it is a stroke. Okay, that is the full character. During the holidays, you can hang this full upside down. In China, we often hang it upside down. In Chinese, the phrase happiness is upside down. Sounds exactly the same as happiness has arrived. That is all for today's lesson. See you next time. Li Shu. First, we will write Qing Feng, meaning cool breeze. We have already practiced this character but that was in the Xing Shu cursive style. Today we are going to practice writing in Li Shu style. Okay, pay attention. We need to remember the special traits of the Li Shu strokes. The first two Dian strokes can be identical. The third Dian stroke tilts upward wrap it up. The hung strokes are the same. Just like a stretched rubber band, but it also rebounds. This has some brute force there. Tan tou, silkworm head, yi bo san jue, one wave three folds, pose press yan wei, Swallowtail. Return. Even in the smaller strokes, we need to have the return stroke. We need to pay attention to the strength and resonance of the strokes. Lift, we talked about this fold before. No need to make it too severe. When we see this character, we can say that it has the strength of the Li Shu style. At the same time, we need to focus on the strokes. Perhaps 
some students will use this style in a messy way. Let's look at the three Han strokes in Qing. What if we use the Chan Tao Yan Wei stroke for all three lines? Do you see the result? Looks good? Not so good. We have a saying. Silkworms and swallows do not appear in pairs. This means that when you are writing a character, do not use too many of these swallows' tails. Sometimes even two can feel like too many. This is quite important. Now let's write it as a complete work. Return. We can start the stroke here between this D and stroke to get a balance from left to right. Otherwise, if we leave too much distance, the character will feel too scattered. Left is left and right is right. We rely on a small stroke inserted here to connect these two parts together. Here it should come back a little. It does not always feel full, but we understand the idea. Qing Feng Don't just swing out. You may feel it is beautiful, but it's not quite right. Lift. Come back. Okay, the main text is complete. Let's write the inscription. and place it in this position. Today I want to make a long inscription written on a single line. Wu Zi, Spring, Zhou Yan. Lastly, we give it our seal. Place a book under the paper. If you stamp it this way, the image will be more clear. Which seal shall I use today? This is my first and last name on a single Yang Wen red character stamp. Because the characters in the main text are big, so I choose a relatively bigger stamp. Li. Zhong Yan, like this. At the beginning of this piece, let's put a starting seal here.
right here. Now the work is complete. There are still so many forms to practice, such as Zhongguo meaning China and Feixiang meaning take flight. It is up to you to decide. That is all for today's lesson.